Hello. I'm Mel. I am an adult doll collector of 35 years. Thank you for stopping by my channel. So, um, today, what I thought I would share with you all, this is something that I've had for a little while, and I had picked it up at uh, a yard sale. Yard sales are starting up and garage sales in this month of March. So, uh, this is called Yuletide Romance Barbie. Okay, she is from 1996, and she's part, she's third in the series of uh, Barbie dolls exclusively designed for Hallmark. And here is the inside. She has red hair and beautiful green eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to read about Yuletide Barbie. It says, As the year draws to an end and winter's chill arrives, it is time to deck the halls, hang the mistletoe, toe, <laughs> light the yule log, and send season's greetings to loved ones and special friends. In the romantic spirit of the season, Yuletide Romance Barbie doll is dressed elegantly for the holidays in an emerald green velvety gown. The fitted jacket is trimmed with gold embellishments. Are the matching brooch and ring holiday gifts from her handsome bow? The couple featured in this authentic holiday image seems to have slipped away unobserved from a social gathering in the parlor for a quiet, affectionate moment together. Their gentle embrace is the perfect ending to a sentimental holiday evening. Inspired by this nostalgic time of year, Hallmark's creative staff researched the design collections Hallmark archives and they discovered a charming greeting card. Now the basis for Yuletide Romance Barbie, the third and final doll in a series of special edition Barbie dolls created exclusively for Hallmark. The enclosed miniature postcards are authentic replicas of postcards from the early 1900s. And this is the image that they were talking about, the embrace. So what I'm gonna do, and I'll go ahead, it's by Mattel, and if you can see right here, it's 1996. Um, it's been a little while, you all, since I have uh, unboxed a Barbie by itself. So let's go ahead, we'll slide her right out. You see there's nothing in there. Now she is a lovely one. Look here, let's look at the back. And let's go ahead, it shouldn't take too long, and we'll untwist these right here. And hopefully she comes with a stand where we can stand her up. Okay. Yes, so like I said, uh, looks like that the season has finally come again for yard sales, garage sales, things like that. And I love to go to those. <laughs> I always have. <laughs> looks like she's going to be pretty easy. She's got the permanently bent arms, looks like. And um, she's got her red hair all pulled up in a bun here. Green eyes. She has, let's hurry and get her out so that you all can look at her good. Okay. Now the skirt's tacked right there. And hopefully she's got a stand. Oh, we got her out. Wow. She has a ring right here. All by itself. See the ring? Oh, very pretty. And let's get this out here. I hope I have my camera positioned the right way so that we can get her out and you all can enjoy her. I hate to leave stuff in the box. And I have been wanting to get her out for a while. And I hadn't. So... Like I said, here is the stand, and it says Yuletide Romance. Let's put the stand like so, if we can get it to stay. It's a special edition. Okay. We have a little two-year limited warranty. I believe that's expired. <laughs> she has some dark green shoes, heels, and a dark green brush. That's very important to have the brush. I love those brushes. Here's the two little postcards. We'll go ahead and get those out. It said those were replicas. See? Okay. So, has everybody been doing okay? I sure hope so. Um, 
slide her on the stand here. Now, I'm going to show you all something else, too. All right, so we've got Miss Yuletide Barbie right where she needs to be. Now, let's get her shoes on because I want you all to see her with her pretty shoes. Okay. These green are pretty. I was going to do her on uh, on St. Patrick's Day, but I didn't get a chance to because I, I thought she would be nice, you know, and hit green and all of the stuff this pretty, you know, green. But it uh, looks like they just slide right on like so. Okay. See her shoes? All right. Now, I'm going to put her with the other, uh, excuse me, I'm going to move this just for a minute. I'm going to move her with the other holiday Barbies. Now, so you all can see better closer up. Here she is. See? She's got velvety like she twisted the waist. Permanently bent arms. Um, let's look up under her dress because we are an adult doll channel. She has on, looks like the permanent, um, you know, white undies. Um... And very nice. There we go. Anyway, she is Yuletide Romance uh, Hallmark Barbie. And my goodness, what a find to find her. <laughs> oh, and let me show you something about her hair. See that piece right there? It's all swirly on top. I don't know if it really picks up on camera or not, but okay. I guess we're going to take her now. And set her maybe next to Farah. Um, well, I don't really know where we're going to stick her. Or next to Totally Hair. Well, you all, she'll probably have to go into the other doll room. So, for now, we're going to set her right here with Miss Saucy and the one that I picked up. <laughs> in uh, this one here, I got it. It was in the back of an old car, which I've told you all that before. Now, if you want to keep your box, obviously you can. This was the little postcards. They are cute. All they are is simply, you know, little cardboard paper. So, um, excuse me. We're going to set all this right here just for now and then later like i said i'll move her and i'm going to show you all something else interesting okay uh, i thought you all might like to see something else here this is something <clears throat> excuse me this is something that i got we're going to set this back up here this is something you all that i picked up I'm not sure if everybody will like this or not. Excuse the noise. It's definitely different. This come from a consignment. Not a consignment. It was like a thrift store. Um, and what they do is if you buy something there, like when I bought this, they said, thank you. You've just donated uh, 11 meals to the homeless. And that really touched my heart. Because, um... You know, I'm really grateful for everything in life. Anyway, so, uh, excuse me, you all. I may not even post this video. Let's look at this lovely here. Now, she, she might be a little scary to some of you all, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now. If you're afraid of really old antique dolls, you may want to click off. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, here we go. She is a lovely. I'm going to show you the back first. My goodness, what a doll. Look at this dress. I know she's dirty. All right, you ready? We're going to turn her around. Here she is. I went back to her two or three times. Her price was $19.99. I've not even took her price off. We're going to do that now. Okay. All right. I know nothing about her. Here's her legs. Right here. See? And her little heels. Wow. I think she is just a stunning doll. 
she's not perfect. She's got a place right here. I'm going to move the camera so you all can see her better. Okay? Excuse me. Look here. Look. I don't know what to think about her, you all. It looks like she's been hand-painted. Her little face is cracked. Look. She's cracked all down through here. She has on a bracelet. I cut my thumb right there. She has on bracelet, fingernails, obviously fingernails, but they're painted. This is her bodice. I will show you here underneath. Look here, she's pretty dirty. Now, some people would think she looked like a haunted doll or something. However, I don't. I don't think she's haunted at all. I think she's a doll that just needs love. Anyway... I think she's almost, maybe she could be that paper mache. She's a very, 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 very big doll. If you can see, she goes all the way across right here. If I can get my tape measure. If anybody out there knows who this doll is, please let me know. She has brown hair, brown eyes. She has a crack down here. She's got a piece gone of her face right there. Anyway, the place I got her at, like I said, it was in the city, and uh, not in a small town. It was in the city, and when I seen her, I went back to her two or three times, and then I just finally got her. I don't know who she is or anything about her. There's no markings. I'll turn her over so we can look back here. See? There's nothing. Usually on these old dolls, you can find something. But she's going to go in a different room. Now, I don't know. What, what do you all think about her? Do you think she's lovely? Or uh, I wanted to give a warning that she could be rather scary or spooky. However, I think she just needs love. She just needs love. <laughs> anyway, you all. Well, I thought I would share this lovely right here. The unnamed, she is unnamed. I don't know her name. Like I said, I think she's just wonderful. And then we have the Yuletide Romance Barbie that's right beside of her. But, you know, like I've told you all before, I enjoy all kinds of dolls. Not just uh, Barbie, not just Cabbage Patch. Um... I like all dolls, any kind, and uh, I hope I did give enough warning about this lovely girl and that she didn't scare anyone, <laughs> but like I said, I went back to her two or three times, and I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't let her go. I felt like the feeling that I got from her was at one time she had been loved by someone, you know? And I just felt like maybe I could love her, you know, and give her a, a nice new start. So, say hello to YouTube, whoever you are. Nothing has to be perfect in this world. You know, it's what makes you happy. And she is not perfect, just like me. I'm like the broken doll here. <laughs> but she just wanted to be loved, and I wanted to take her, and... I'm going to keep her, and, uh, but if anybody in the comments happens to know who she is or what type of doll, just let me know, and, uh, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and until we meet again, have a beautiful day.